Good morning, everyone. Thanks for taking the time to sit down with me today for coffee and the Word. That time, each day, that we examine a verse or two from God's Word, and then we do our best to apply them to our lives so that we can become a little more like Jesus today than we were yesterday. So, like always, grab that cup and let's get started. We're continuing on in Proverbs, and I'm going to look at Proverbs 15 and verse 14 about the discerning heart. The verse says, The discerning heart seeks knowledge, but the mouth of a fool feeds on folly. Fools can be said to be all mouth, always spouting foolishness. The wise, however, are all heart and every new experience is a way for their hearts to become more discerning. In a TV episode based on Agatha Christie's story, a retired Scotland Yard inspector explains to an incredulous friend that Miss Marple is the greatest criminologist in England. There she sits, he says, an elderly spinster, sweet, placid, or so you'd think, Yet her mind has plumbed the depths of human iniquity and taken it all in a day's work. She has lived all her life in a little rural village of St. Mary Mead. It's extraordinary. She knows the world only through the prism of that village and its daily life, but by knowing the village so thoroughly, she seems to know the world. Like Jesus, the ultimate wise one, she loves people, but she doesn't trust human nature. The secrets of wisdom are locked in your ordinary experience if you know how to learn from it. Ask God to help you develop a discerning heart. In what area or way has God enabled you to grow in discernment during this past year? Lord. You're the ultimate teacher of wisdom. You sat with your disciples and you taught them in parables. Now, let me learn wisdom from my experience. I commit new time to prayer, reading, and solitude so that you can do that for me. Amen. Be blessed and have a grace-filled day.